The Reports Distribution Manager will assist you with distributing reports you've created with any of the WAND products. As a once-off exercise, you will need to set up your email settings so that you can distribute the reports via email. Let's connect to SAP and look at a GL1 report that we would like to distribute. Notice here that we are selecting two different company codes to distribute the reports by. Notice here that the company code parameter has been designated by a named range. So has the period parameter. Clicking Insert Sheet will create an RDM template from scratch. We then click on Define Row so that we can add a distribution. We then select our Report Master, which is the report that we just had a look at. Notice how the named range has automatically been detected and assigned to Param 1. You can work with multiple named ranges in a single report. If you wish to email the generated reports, enter the email addresses separated by a semicolon if there are many. You could save the generated reports in a shared folder if you don't wish to email them. You can generate a snapshot report, a report with formulas, as well as a PDF. We are appending 1000 to the distributed report name, which will represent the report for company code 1000. And here we can see the row that has been added. Here we see the parameter 1 name and the parameter 1 value. The value cells have automatically been created as a GL1 list of values depending on the parameter type. So for each row we select the relevant value that we wish for that company code. We are now ready to execute our distribution. We could execute a range or the whole sheet. The RDM will now open and refresh the report for each of our rows. Notice how it automatically changes the company code for us. Once all the reports have been refreshed, the RDM will save the reports in the distribution folder and will email them if we selected this option. After a short while, your users will receive their reports. We can then save this template for future use. The following month, one could simply change the period values. For more information, go to excelforapps.com.